We are going to make a drawing in this style of Norval Morisot. We're going to draw a turtle, and as I draw the turtle and you follow along with me, I'm going to tell you the story of Turtle Island. I'm using a black marker to make the thick outlines that we see in Norval Morisot's paintings, and I'm going to use my crayons to add the color because I have a wide variety of colors of my crayons to match the variety of colors that we see in Norval Morisot's paintings. If you have these materials at home, please do your best to follow along with me as I use these crayons and my marker. If you don't have some of these things at home, please just do the best with what you have, even if you only have a pencil and a paper. I'm going to fill up the whole piece of paper, so my turtle is going to take up all of the space and he's going to kind of look like he's squished on the paper. And um, that is also very similar to Norval Morisot's paintings. He filled up the whole space. I'm starting with an oval for the shell. And this is going to take up most of my paper. I'm going to leave some space to add the head, the tail, and all of the legs. So kind of in the middle, I'm going to add a little leg here, and then a little, maybe a little one over here too, and then a tail. So between the legs, I'll add kind of a triangle shape for the tail, and I'm using a wide marker, which is giving me a line that is thick and becomes thin. This sort of irregular type of a line is similar to Norval Morisot's work, too. So up here, I'm going to add his other leg. And I'll add the other one here, kind of reaching up, trying to make them about the same size. And then I'm going to have the head be kind of turned, like maybe he's turning his head to look at the viewer. There we go. And I'm going to add an eye. and maybe a little line for a mouth. The last thing is to add some of the lines on the shell. So I'm gonna add kind of an oval shape in the center. And it's okay if it's a little bumpy because turtle shells are made up of different plates to make up the shell. And then after I have my center plate or piece of shell, I'm drawing lines connecting to the outside. And then I'll be done with my drawing and I can begin coloring. And I will tell you the story of Turtle Island as we work on coloring this in. As I color it in, I am going to use a lot of these colors. So I'm going to dump them out to prepare for coloring. That way I don't have to waste time trying to dig for colors in my box. I don't think I'm going to need white or gray or black. I might need brown. So I'm going to try to use my rainbow colors and not my neutral colors. And I would like you to Follow along with the style of coloring that I'm about to do and also use three colors or more per um, item that you're drawing or per, per shape that you're drawing. So to start with the middle one to explain what I mean, I'm going to pick three colors. They can be random. You don't have to go together. And um, I'm going to start by kind of following along the outline of the shape and color a little bit. When I say color a little bit, I mean don't fill in the whole shape with your first color. Fill in part of the shape. Leave space for your other two colors. So moving on to the purple, which I'm going to fill in next coloring around the outside of the shape.
And next is the pink. And that will fill in the rest of it. I'm going to only use three colors per shape so that my picture doesn't look too busy. I don't want it to look like there's too much going on. And um, I'm also going to focus on symmetry. So the coloring that I do for all four legs, I'm going to use the same four colors. And for the shell, I might use different colors. I might use the same. I think if I use the same, it might be a little bit too much, but I want to have the legs look different from the shell. So I'm going to start there and then the head and the tail, I might have those be the same as the legs too. You can choose any colors you want to. You don't have to copy the ones that I am picking out. But as I look at look through these colors. I'm trying to find colors that are not all next to each other on the color wheel. So colors that would be different um, from each other, kind of looking at differences in colors. They're not all the same. So the legend of Turtle Island is a Native American story. So Native Americans are from all parts of the continent of North America, it means that they are native to this land. Their ancestors were the people who lived here before the colonists arrived. And they have their own traditions and creation stories and stories about their beliefs of how the world and spirituality and the universe work. And their creation story of the earth is the legend of Turtle Island. So the story goes, in the very beginning, the world was covered completely in water. So one big giant ocean, there was no land at all. But there were animals in this world. So they all had to swim around. And they were getting kind of tired of swimming, so these animals decided to try to swim to the bottom of the water and find some land. And they were thinking, if we find some land, we can bring it up to the surface, put it on Turtle's back, and then maybe we can have a place to rest. We can rest on Turtle's back. So... These animals all tried to swim to the bottom of the ocean, but it was really hard to get all the way to the bottom. So when one animal tried and failed and couldn't do it, another animal tried. And finally, the muskrat tried to swim all the way to the bottom, and he was able to swim to the bottom of the ocean, and he grabbed a handful of dirt. He brought it all the way back up, and he placed the dirt on Turtle's back. And unfortunately, Muskrat died because he almost drowned trying to get that dirt from the bottom of the ocean, and he didn't survive when he came back up to the top. Um, and the spirit of life, I think the spirit who allows things to grow, saw that Muskrat sacrificed his life so that his friends could survive living in the world that was full of water. So she grew the piece of dirt that Muskrat brought back up from the bottom of the ocean. And she made that piece of dirt grow and grow. And she had Turtle grow also. So Turtle grew and grew and grew until he became the entire continent of North America. So if you look at a map of North America, does it kind of look like a turtle? Can you find where the legs, the head, the tail of the turtle would be? Because most of the shell would be the land. So there's stories that the country that we live in, the continent that our country is in, is actually a turtle. And we are living on the back of a turtle. And Norval Morisot made a lot of paintings about 
stories from Native American folklore. He was inspired by his own culture. And right now we are kind of emulating, we are sort of copying, I guess, um, his style and also what has inspired him. We are creating a drawing inspired by a Native American legend. And as I was telling you that story, I was working on coloring in all of the legs with the same three colors in the same pattern. And um, this will help at the end. It will help us recognize that these four shapes are different from the shell. Because once this is all colored in, your eye is going to have to take a little bit of extra time to kind of figure out what you're looking at with all of the bright colors. So we're creating unity among these four shapes to help us and help the people who see our picture later recognize that, oh, those four shapes go together. They must all be the same thing. They kind of look like legs and it will help them see that we made a turtle. And I'm going to continue with these three colors for the tail and the head. And since I have my first six shapes colored in, I am going to kind of think about what color I would like to color the background. I don't want to leave it white. You could be inspired by the legend of Turtle Island and color in the background blue. If I chose to do that, I would need to choose a darker blue than the one I'm using so that all of my picture can still be seen. It would be really challenging to tell where the arms and legs are if the whole background was the same color blue. So make a choice that would be different from the color that is closest to the white of the paper. Okay, so I wouldn't use blue. I probably would use something like maybe yellow or orange. And then for the turtle shell, I want to choose some colors that are different from this blue. And I think I will choose purple. Same steps as before. I'm coloring first along the inside edge of my shape. Not filling it in, but coloring about one third of it. One third because I have three crayons. And I'm going to keep going around the shell. My very last step here is coloring the background. So since I have it half colored in, I want to point out that by adding this orange, it really brings out the blue and it brings out the purple in my turtle. It makes it really pop out a lot more. And that's why I'm coloring in the background. That's why I will ask students a lot of the time to color in the background. It just adds so much to your drawing. And when you are finished coloring your turtle, please churn it in on Google Classroom.